Hello, we're going to show you how to change the EEPROM chip at an LK1920. First thing you need to do is make sure that the machine is turned off. You can even, if you listen to the side of the panel, you should at least even wait a couple minutes to make sure that all the electricity is discharged out of the capacitors. So after a couple minutes have passed, you can go ahead and come to the back of the side of the control box. We're going to remove the top four screws, loosen the bottom two. You can lift the panel cover off. What we did here is we just disconnected the fan. So now we need to locate the EEPROM chip. The EEPROM chip is in the lower left hand corner of the main board. What we need to notice is that the notch is to the left. Okay. So we got the power off, we got the cover off, now we need to, we've located the EEPROM chip, now we need to remove it. If you have an EEPROM puller, that would be the best way to go. Let it push it in and pull straight on out. If you do not, grab the small screwdriver out of the drawer if it's still there or one very similar to this. We're going to gently pry it out of the main board. So I just work it gently. My goal is trying not to destroy the EEPROM spider legs. Okay, you can see the legs of the EEPROM still in good condition. Now we're going to grab our new EEPROM. We're going to put the notch to the left just like the one we took out. If you get confused or you got pulled away you'll see on the EEPROM board there's a drawing where it sews the notch element. Alright. <clears throat> we have our spider legs. They look good and straight. We're going to put the first set of spider legs in the bottom part of the socket first. Twist it up, line up our top set, so they go in the upper part of the socket, then push it in so they firmly seat inside there, making sure that all spider legs are in the socket. 